Oh, snag. All right, so here's a segment we're gonna call how to break a fly rod. Snags. We are snagged way out there. And there's a couple different things I could do. One of which, if it was snagged closer, I could throw a series of roll casts and see if I couldn't get the, the fly to come out from under, but that's not gonna work from this far out. I could sit here and do that twang on the line thing, you know, and put as much tension as I could and hope it pops loose. But that's also a really good way to pop the tip on your rod if you get the angle just wrong and the tension a little too tight, especially with a bamboo rod like I'm fishing today. So the best bet here to get back to fishing, to not disturb any more fish than you have to, you're just gonna have to sacrifice the fly. And the best way to do that is just get the rod straight out so that you're, you're just pulling tension on the line, you're not putting any pressure on the rod, and then just keep pulling on that puppy until your tippet busts. Every once in a while you get lucky and you weren't hung up as bad as you thought and your fly will come loose. This time it didn't. But it's not that big a deal to put on another fly. They're not cheap as they used to be, but they're still a whole lot cheaper than a new rod or the postage to get warranty work on a new rod. And losing a fly generally doesn't end your day. Losing a rod does. So just a quick little tip there. Have fun. Catch lots of fish. <laughs>